Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? Welcome to the Daily DCA, where I invest a thousand dollars every day into crypto and soon more probably day after tomorrow. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe Thursday or Friday, I'll drop to two or three thousand dollars a day into my favorite crypto. It's been ether all this time, but we may switch it to something else. The chart I have pulled up here, and by the way, if you like this stuff, if you're enjoying it, please hit the like button, subscribe. It's motivation. It's nothing more than motivation for me. I'm doing these videos. I'm not sure if anyone's watching or really appreciates this or finds it interesting. I'm not sure. But we need to talk about Cardano. Cardano is a dumpster most of the time. It, it mostly stays below everyone's expectations, right? There's no expectation of Cardano to do anything interesting. The spike was in May of 21, then September 21, 2021. It also spikes, and it's been on a downtrend ever since. And we hit support here. As we can see, there's a line of support. And now we're above that. We're, we're hitting resistance, but resistance at a very interesting point. This is the bull market support band. Oh, sorry, hold on one second. We're on the day, aren't we? One sec. There we go. This is the bull market support band for Cardano. And we are um, in an interesting place here. Like if, uh, let me switch to, if things continue, Cardano will soon become interesting again. It's not right now, but it could become interesting again. And I'm excited. I have a bag of Cardano and it's a good, I think it's a good project, but we will have to see. This is all, this is hype mostly from the Sunday swap uh, token that's going to kick into gear soon, right? It's their first decentralized, uh, it's their first dApp. And we're all waiting, holding our breath, kind of, the bag holders, of course, if this will actually happen and it'll be amazing or not. But let me tell you, it's likely that this will not be amazing. It's likely that this will fall apart, <laughs> as does ever. I mean, like, you're releasing a new piece of technology onto the world. Do you think it's going to work perfectly the first time? I think not, right? I have a, I'm, I have a 2019 MacBook. The 2018 had issues when it first came out. And the first generation of things always have issues. I mean, there are cars and all, like so many stories of so many different pieces of tech that have come out that, that are complete flops. I mean, just think about the first exam you took. It may have been difficult. It probably was difficult. I mean, there's so many examples. I expect this to fall apart and, and this to probably come back down. Unless this is an absolute, you know, pass with flying colors and we see it get into the, the bull market support band and then maybe up past it and then bounce above it and then, you know, really get past these all-time highs. It'd be nice, of course. I wouldn't complain. I'd be happy to see this go up to $3, $5, $10. Wow, that'd be amazing. But we, there's a long way to go. I don't... I can't, what, what's the market cap? We can't see what the market cap is either. Uh, no, we can't. But, you know, 300%. It's pretty interesting gains. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about Cardano, but I'm hoping, I, I really do hope that this turns out positive. But let us see. By the way, have you, Heikinashi, these are great. So we've been in a downtrend where going a bit on an upgrade. These are calculated differently from regular uh, candles, the ones that we're used to. But th this is pretty interesting. A big positive green. Let's see what this is like in a week from now. We'll check back in a week and see what the vibe is. Switch back to daily. That's nice. That's nice. Definitely nice. Just touching the bull market support band and getting a little bit of rejection. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if we're Let's, let's actually switch. Just let's spend a few more minutes here. Let's see. So, hey, this is not bad. This is not bad. So, of course, the bull market support band is a lagging indicator, but you know we can probably make it into there. I would expect like a big red candle here, but we're not getting a big red candle. We're getting a green candle. We're getting green candles. So let's see. We, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Um, the U.S. dollar is performing. It's performing. You know. Let's see where is it. This is the bull market support band for the U.S. dollar, and it's above. It's bouncing actually on the U on on the bull markets. Not great news. <laughs> we don't want to see this thing go up. We want to see it come down, unless you are dollar cost averaging. Then you do want to see it come down because I'm going to show you in a sec. 
uh, today's today's uh, DCA done just 20 minutes ago. But you'll see here that I'm at 4752. That's interesting. I've been putting $1,000 a day, a little bit less, and I try to top it up. Well, the market's been coming down, right? The market's been coming down because... <laughs> you know what? I have... So what did the... My transaction today has not come through yet? Okay, it hasn't. I don't think that happened. It's the 17th today, right? What is that? Is it the 17th? It is the 17th. Oh, great. So this has... Oh, no, it hasn't. Okay, so my, my DCA into this hasn't come through. It's going to come through in a few minutes, I guess. Um, it just... The shrimpy takes forever to, uh, to update because it's shrimpy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, there we go. All right, just came through. So now we're at 5.7, but we're down $270, right? The market's been coming down. So we're down 2.5%, and in this case, it translates to $250, basically. Um, a little annoying, but whatever. I'd like to see it go down, because we will, as this goes down further, I will dynamically DCA further in. And by that, I mean... Will definitely it will increase the the amount we DCA per day. So we're going to go from one thousand to probably three thousand if we fall further down. If we get to like three percent or below, I definitely want to jump up to three k a day. Um, and then if we start going up, we'll dynamically DCA lower amounts. So we'll I mean we could even go as low as two hundred fifty dollars a day if we really start peaking up. You know, like if we hit like like a $5,000 ETH. I'm not so interested in, in dropping $3,000 a day in $5,000 ETH. I'm not sure. Because I, because I believe we have a long way to go. I don't think this is a quick, you know, I don't think the story, this is Ada, but still the same thing. I don't think the story ends like ASAP. I, I, I believe the story goes on for some time, right? These are the monthly, um, to switch back to uh, BTC. Yeah, and we talked about this yesterday. I don't think this market ends end of this year. I think it, it, it probably ends this year or early next year. That's what I think, but more likely next year. And so that means we're going to have some dips. I'm not sure if we're going to go much past, much below this point, right? We might test these numbers again, but I don't think we're going to 30,000. I, I don't think we are, of course. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Let's see. So moving forward, I will not be topping this stuff up. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna let it run because, it, like, if we go down deeper or if we go up significantly, this whole thing, you know, loses its its head basically. So we'll just keep going. Let's talk about uh, what is this here? Yeah. Right. So it's an interesting week, right? If we look at the BTC charts, we're in this range, and are we going to break through? Like, what what is going to happen? What's the deal here? I mean, this is the big question. Like, we're we going to break past this, which I don't think we're going to do, or are we going to, um, you know, head further down and possibly blow ourselves up? I don't know. But it's like between, you know, 39 and 43, it's a small range, $4,000 range that's, that we're playing in, and I suppose we'll... We'll know relatively shortly. Things are happening, right? I mean, we're on a downwards trend now. We might, you know, I mean, like these kind of things kind of go down. I don't see them like kind of leveling out here and then popping up. I feel like they kind of, they, they have a bit of momentum coming down. So we'll see. Uh, BTC is getting a little plummeted. Turkey. If you're, if you're not familiar, Turkey has a currency that's being absolutely devalued. It's straight inflation. It's because the government's running out of cash, similar to what I believe is going to happen here uh, with the U.S., and they're printing a whole bunch of money, and every day things are getting more expensive, the inflation's out of control, and the Turkish people are turning to crypto. And I feel this is low-key what's happening here. It's high-key happening in Turkey, but low-key it's happening here. It, people are losing their faith in the currency, right? Have you seen what the cost of celery is or a chunk of meat? It's absurd. It's way more than, I mean, it's, I, I don't, like, way more. Everything's getting more expensive. And our wages aren't going up, right? It's not like we're, we're making a whole bunch more money. Crypto's the way, I think. Right? Things are moving forward, and, and crypto's the direction to head in. 
Bad publicity, yeah, of course. It's like government sanctioned bad, bad publicity. And the last story. This guy, this guy, this guy's an interesting story. If you might, if you remember a couple years back, it was like, it was um, this Canadian cryptocurrency entrepreneur died suddenly in India. Highly, highly suspect. Um, and his, you know, the people that, that uh, they were invested lost a whole bunch of money. <clears throat> 215,000, 215 million Canadian dollars. I have friends that still, that, that still have money lost in, in this case. Really absurd. Um, his wife, ex-wife, widow, spoke up and, and just like she had no idea any of this was happening. Which is reasonable if you're committing a giant fraud. And, and I, I, from my understanding, this was a fraud. Yeah, you probably wouldn't tell your wife. If you told your wife, like, complicit, I don't know, complacent. I'm not sure. I'm really unsure. But it's an unfortunate scenario if you did die. If you didn't die, what a scam. Absolute scam. But those, those accounts are being tracked, obviously. So he will never be able to withdraw. Though... You technically do not ever need to withdraw, right? You could, if it's, let's say, Bitcoin, like you have $100 million of Bitcoin, you could borrow against it, right? But I imagine whomever's, whomever you're borrowing from would request that, show us that you own this account. And that you'd run into some trouble there trying to prove that you own this account. If you can't move anything, because if you move something, then that account is active and that, that whole debacle this is kind of like the founder of uh, the, the founder of Bitcoin was like, hey, listen, I am the founder of Bitcoin. And then the accounts, the original accounts that Bitcoin was formed on started moving. And, and then a public statement came out that, you know, this is not the founder of Bitcoin. It's really absurd. I'll, we'll talk about this at some point in the future. Um, but yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This is it for today. I wanted to show you one more thing. This is a little absurd, but kind of interesting. This is when Mercury retrogrades. So we have, you know, these, and look at the dips when Mercury retrogrades. Mercury retrograde, a death cross. Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde. This is a little old. This, this was like December uh, 21 was the last time he... He updated, but we have a death cross coming. We've already had a death cross, and now we have a um, uh, Mercury retrograde. And this is actually accurate. You know, I can't draw on this, but this actually did go down, right? This went down, and we are uh, how well this guy is actually predicting the future because he did. We we went right down to thirty nine, and so we can click play, and it's going to go right. Down. That's unbelievable. He's super close, right? Very very close. Now we have a death cross right around here. Right around there. So that mean, I mean, my suspicions, we're going to touch this line at maybe 39. Okay, great. That's the trend line. And then bounce up and we'll see. Anyways, you know, this doesn't, I'm not sure how much weight this holds. Because Jupiter and Pisces, what is, what is Jupiter and Pisces? I don't know what that is. And what is, and that's in a box. So Jupiter and Pisces is a negative thing? Is that what he's inferring? But then he draws a line that goes up. I'm not sure. Very interesting though. What's he say? Mercury retrogrades have often have a huge impact on BC. Wow, the three weeks before Mercury retrograde go often marked a fall in price with the bottom coming in about the time Mercury retrogrades. Okay, this is usually initial drop with a few weeks of sideways action before the second drop. Interesting. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know if we should even be. Mercury goes retrograde January 14th, so we are now within this that several week period that we've already seen falling prices. Interesting. And there's a full moon on the 17th, which is today. And over 80% of the time, full moon coincides with the local price bottom. And the new moon coincides with the local top, plus or minus two to three days. The full moon is January 7th, which is a Monday. And also MLK or whatever. I would expect to see the local bottom within a few days of the 17th. Wow. Okay. So this might be something that we want to come back to and see how accurate this is. I think the current downtrend will continue another two to three weeks until around the week end of January 14th, dropping to around 39k. Wow, was this guy right on point? What is this? Uh, this is the 10th of January, but he says, uh, 
where you can and then dropping to around 30k head and shoulders pattern that started on 21st and then after that i think we'll see a strong rebound maybe even up 80 percent um really really unbelievable one sec really hmm. last year we had about 90 percent pump during the first retrograde of the year jupiter and pisces okay hold on you Ju okay jupiter and pisces december 28th 200 warning this is one astro astrological factor that may screw up the strong rebound in mid-January. Jupiter and Aquarius was very strong for BTC most of 2021. But Jupiter slipped into Pisces for almost three months during 2021. From May 31st, yeah, I think this is what caused the 50% price drop. If we don't see a good rebound in the third week of January, Jupiter and Pisces may put maybe putting a damper on things like it did for them. Okay, interesting. No, oh, possibly to repeat of the fifty percent drop we experienced the second half, second half of May twenty twenty, perhaps falling to twenty nine k. I don't anticipate this, but it's worth keeping up. How interesting! What do people think? Thank you for your time. We have whale intelligence, psychic. <laughs> damn, pretty close. I mean, yeah, this is a good point. This is pretty damn close. Unbelievable. Okay, well, so this is uh, this is May. And this, yeah, okay, so the first half of May, we're okay, second half of May, we fall. So he thinks, because of the Jupiter and Pisces, because we just, well, how interesting, okay, so we just switched into Jupiter and Pisces, that things will, I mean, well, you know, it should have happened here, no, to really take effect, but okay, Jupiter and Pisces, that this might be invalidated, and we might actually make a dump to uh, 29, which is right here. Hey, listen, I won't be complaining. My dynamic DCAs will be jumping up. And I'm, I, hey, we talked about this before. Make sure you're also doing this. A dollar a day, five dollars a day, ten dollars a day, ten dollars a week. I don't care. Just do something. Don't just passively watch me. It's just, there's no point. Interesting. Let's keep an eye on this. I'm going to bookmark this and we will come back to this. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Moon phase of trading view. Someone. I will, we'll come back to this in a week and we'll see what, uh, how this, how this holds. Did it age well or not? Well, aside from that, these are the updates for the day. We're at, um, about $5,700, 6,000 DCA in so far. We've lost a little bit, $270, but, um, not that bad. $273 at 33 cents but um let's uh let's keep an eye on this and keep going i'm excited to chat tomorrow have a good day guys